Hey everyone, welcome back to Millennial Moms. I'm Amy from ePoddle. And I'm Barry. And today we're gonna to talk about girly Halloween. So I have the girliest girl, Barry. She was born with glitter in her veins, and she is stuck about what to be for Halloween. Her top three choices are anyone from Monster High, which is really cool because those are kind of eerie already and they make for a really awesome excuse for some fun monster makeup. Or a minion, classic. You can buy a minion costume at the store or you can go easy with the yellow shirt and some overalls. Or her third choice is Mal from Disney Descendants. This is a pretty hard costume to find, so I'd have to DIY it with some black and purple leather, some ripped black jeans, and some purple washable hair paint. All of these seem to be the most popular costumes out there this year, and while Barry's deciding, I have some Halloween tips for you. My first tip is don't shop too early. Stores seem to put their Halloween stuff on sale about two weeks before the holiday, so if you wait, you could end up saving 50 or 75% off of those costumes. Second tip is add a tutu to anything to make it a little more fun. You can easily make a tutu by just tying five yards of tulle that's been cut into strips onto an elastic. It's easy peasy, but the twirl factor is on point. And last, I wanna share a little bit about the Teal Pumpkin Project. Halloween is hard for kids with food allergies, and people are now putting a teal pumpkin at the door to signify that they have non-food items for kids with severe allergies. As a mom with a child with food allergies, I would love for this to catch on throughout the year so that all kids can have fun on Halloween without being scared. All right, let's see what Barry chose as her costume for Halloween. Banana. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this gave you some great ideas for your little girl on Halloween. Be sure to subscribe to Baby League and we'll see you next time on another Millennial Moms. Bye.